as we take a look at Boom MLP. There's there's a bit of a difference there. Oh, there is. I mean, my boy Jackie <laughs> has come in 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 uh, instead of Tino. And look, people were complaining when the, the Boom Esports roster was made, even when they came second or first or whatever it was, people were still saying they wanted a better, better carry than Tino. Now Boom have gotten Jackie, which, you know, is arguably the hard carry that people were asking for. And most people have kind of looked at this as in a positive light. So I'm expecting big things here from Boom Esports, and I have faith that Jackie should be able to impress us today here against SMG. No. I mean, with the with the Lesh, with the Spirit Breaker, the IO could be quite potent. And I think Arfu does play the Pos 4 Shadow Demon, so... I don't know if Roger feels comfortable on the IO, but I, I think it would be quite suitable here for the side of SMG. They've had a pretty quick tempo from Boom as well to get some more tower push on their side in comparison to the Lesh. Issue is, those, those summons might not last too long against the Lush Rack and even the Shadow Demon. So that push potential from Boom might be counteracted already with all the great AoE SMG does have. The thing is, if I... IO, sorry, Go on, I was just going to jump on that IO while we were talking about it a little bit. If it doesn't get banned out here and SMG do end up picking it up, do you think Boom have a way to deal with it at the moment? Or should they be, you know, looking to try and shut it down so they don't have that constant support in team fights? Well, the, the one thing I don't like about the IO in this match, if it did come out, is the fact yeah. that you're playing into Kunkka, and that could be a little bit rough with the X-Back, because you, you can't really tether away, you probably can't relocate either, so that's probably my one gripe with it. I, I still think it's pretty good, uh, though it could be a little bit problematic, because it might be just too easy to pick off with all the vision game that, that you have with the yeah. Beastmaster and everything else, but I, I think it still could be run quite, quite positively here for, for the side of SMG. It might be a rough game for it, but I still think it's worth. Well, back to whatever you were saying before I cut you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I was, I was wondering whether they're actually going to run the Pos One Conquer here for Jackie, because again, I, I kind of mentioned earlier, people have this thing where they they say Jackie doesn't have the biggest biggest hero pool in that Pos One role, and Pos One Conquer for Jackie, it it doesn't doesn't bring much confidence in me. Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen that Conquer come out for him. And now I'm kind of wondering where Boom go with their Pos One because if they if they don't give him the Pos One Kunker, then what are you going to run to uh, to enable this draft? Because Boom Esports have got this very fast-paced lineup. Like, do they want to play the the four protect one we're almost expecting here with Jackie, or do they want Jackie to pick up something a little bit more fast-paced and just try to finish this game in 30 minutes? Team and Tusk are going to cut off that aggression quite well while still enabling SMG to play as fast as they want to. I do like it. I mean, it, the save, but the double save is what gets you. And even the laning stage, like if you run the Tusk Spirit Breaker, like charge into tag team is pretty darn detrimental. And you've got so many ways of just locking them down for the for the SP to just take them out during that laning stage. So. Thank you. 